tone. Please record your message. What's up? It's Javon. You probably already knew that, didn't you? I called because I, I'm sitting here thinking about how earlier when we were driving with our five-year-old nephew, you remember? He was knocking back that juice box. We had that Snapple and we were doing manly shit. Do you remember how his mind worked? He asked a million questions. Uncle, why is the sky blue? Uncle, how do cars go? Uncle, uh, why don't dogs talk? Uh, we said it's because the way the sun lights up the atmosphere. It's because engines make the wheels go. It's because dogs' minds aren't quite like ours. Uncle, do you think you could win a fight with a dragon? Yes, no, no, yes, I don't know, who knows, maybe. Oh man, Uncle, it's five, five oh, we got a high. I remember us being so angry. Angry, he already knew how to hide from the cops, but angrier that his survival depends more on his ability to deal with authorities than it does his ability to read. Get up! In this car, in this family, we are not afraid of the law. I wonder if he heard the uncertainty in our voice. Is today the day that he learns that we are so willing to lie to him? That we're more human than we are, hero? I mean, we both know the truth is far more complex than do not hide. We both know too many black boys who disappeared, names lost. We know too many Trayvon Martins, Oscar Grants, and Abner Louimas. Know too many Sean Bells and Amadou Diallos. Know too well that we are the hard-boiled sons of Emmett Till Steele. We both know it's not about whether or not a shooter is racist. It's about how poor black boys are treated as problems well before we're treated as people. Black boys in this country cannot afford to play cops and robbers if we're always considered the latter. Don't have the luxury of playing in war if we're already in one. Where we're from, seeing cop cars drive down the street feels a lot like low-flying planes in New York City. Routine traffic stops are more like minefield and any wrong move could very well mean our life. Do you remember how we had to look our nephew in his apple face and tell him to be kind and polite and to know your laws. We told him to be aware of how quickly your hand moves to pocket for wallet or ID. Be more aware of how quickly an officer's hand moves to holster for gun. Be black, be a boy, have fun, because this world will force you to become a man far more quickly than you should ever have to need to. We let go of our hands. You remember what he asked us? He said, well, Uncle, what if the cop is really mean? And it scared us. And it scared us to know that he, like so many black boys, It's getting ready for a war. We aren't sure how to prepare him for.